Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I have major news regarding AMC. This is quite exciting. As you are aware, I have been following AMC and Ape daily many times per day, watching it for your benefit. So I request that you click like, subscribe, and notifications at the conclusion. Send the video to your friend. Just send him a text. Okay. This information will startle you, and I do not use or text or text a great deal of bogus numbers. Okay, I do not employ every text. Here are the actual numbers. So AMC borrowing costs have just reached an all-time high. It is currently 412%. For as long as I can remember, around 4 to 6 months, we've been at 100%, 102%, and 103%. If you've heard it louder, this is due to data from the cortex and I believe that the cortical data is fabricated. Okay? My data is the true data. Consequently, it currently stands at 412%. Thus, a 4x, something is occurring. Friends, I am uncertain as to whether we will receive the short squeeze in the next day, two, three, or week. However, I've never saw AMC cost this high. In addition, a refund of 407% is applied. Therefore, a negative rebate indicates that brokers have a difficult time borrowing shares. Therefore, a negative 50% rebate indicates that the task is extremely difficult. A negative 100% rebate indicates that the task is even more difficult. And a negative 150% rebate indicates that the task is extremely difficult. Those figures would be absurdly high. But we're talking a 407% rebate. These are unprecedented figures. AMC shares has a cost of borrowing of 412%. This is absurd. I literally do not know how to express this. If this continues, there will be a big short squeeze in my opinion. As I've stated in earlier videos, I anticipate there will be a little squeeze prior to the vote. In addition, the short volume on AMC stock is 53%, and we have failed to deliver 1.3 million shares. This is the most recent information available on AMC stock. Now let's discuss AIP. They are extremely interconnected. So what is the current state of APE? As previously stated, January 4 was day T plus 90. As I predicted, we've been crushing it with APE ever since. Thus, net inflows were close to $1 million today, 936,000. The net inflows for the day were up 6.3%. It is the 19th green day in a row for APE, with only three red days occurring since January 4th. T plus 90 day. Okay, we have support at $96 and resistance at $3.50, as well as the cost of borrowing. The cost to borrow in NAIP has increased slightly compared to before. It was approximately 3% for a time. Now, the rate is 7.54%. Consider how low this is. However, We've had 10 million shares available for borrowing for the past four months, until perhaps three or four days ago, it began to decline. So people were not shorting APE, nor were the major players shorting APE, but now there is a 53% short interest on APE, making this a very fascinating development. Friends enjoy seeing AMC's cost of borrowing at 412%. Do your own investigation. You cannot expect anything less than a 412%. I believe this to be a record high for all stocks. Friends, I've never witnessed anything so tall. Nicely, I noticed a firm that was really high just before it executed a quick squeeze, and I told you in my movies, friends, to purchase jeans. I placed the buy order at $0.50 per share, and the current price is almost $7,650 per share. Accordingly, there was a big short squeeze, and I give God all the credit for that. Consequently, I am quite excited right now. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and add notifications, and then share the video with a friend. Comment below is some bullish news. When do you anticipate receiving the short squeeze? In my opinion, like I mentioned, I created a video about it. It will squeeze prior to the vote, and I believe EIGRP will squeeze before AMC but we must pay great attention now. Currently, AMC is the center of attention due to its unheard of cost to borrow, which is unprecedented. Friends, okay, acceptable, I will speak with you soon.